Okay, so uh, we have this huge open sea bog right now, and it's 8:22 a.m. Sunday, 28th February 2022. And uh, if you go to open sea, there is a banner like this. We are actively investigating rumors on an exploit associated with open sea related smart contracts. Blah blah blah. Do not click links outside of OpenSea.io. Now. This is because uh, earlier this morning we started seeing all these images and posts on Twitter, and right now if you see probably on Twitter uh, uh, there might be like if you if you just go to OpenSea there might be so many right now uh, tweets just around OpenSea exploit, OpenSea NFT, OpenSea, and things like that. The reason is people are getting scammed for the same thing uh, because some hacker, which is based upon this particular article, which I read uh, like uh, two hours ago, two and a half hours ago, uh, or a tweet, I would say, it says it appears that an attacker is using smart contract this one to interact with OpenSea's new exchange contract. And I'm very unsure how this is working or what is being exploited, but it seems OpenSea's new contract is absolutely rugged. Now, what do you mean by OpenSea's new contract? It means that if you might have seen right now that banner is gone, but earlier before this banner, uh, there was uh, something written like, we have upgraded a new smart contract, please migrate your listings and things like that. There was some kind of banner. Now, after that upgrade inside OpenSea's platform, a hacker has been using this particular smart contract uh, to do uh, quite a lot of things and then he's saying the attacker is then selling the stolen NFTs to others to pull ETH out. Currently their wallet is sitting at 262 Ethereum and growing. If you interacted with the new smart contract at all, go here and revoke right now. This is the link, right? Then attacker's uh, wallet is given over here. Uh, then he's constantly updating all these things like for a grand total of 715 gas that I got paid blah 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 You can just go through this all these links would be there around this episode uh, All I wanted to say is there are a couple of steps which everybody is right now putting up uh, right now if I refresh this page the The moment while I'm doing this episode. It's just a couple of minutes ago This is not refreshing right now, but this is just a couple of minutes ago uh, This article got published then there are a lot of other uh, people as well who are saying the same thing that just go and visit to this. If you look out to a lot of discords as well, this is uh, Fly Fish Club. I'm a part of a lot of uh, other projects as well. So people are just saying the same thing that if you are here, then please go to etherscan.io token approval checker and do a couple of uh, steps wherein you will be uh, like safe from this attack. Anyway, so uh, here are the five steps which you need to do if uh, you just want to be safe. And if you have not migrated to uh, the earlier uh, update, then it is perfectly all right. That should be the fine, I guess. But still, on the safer side, just make sure you do your own research for this as well and follow these five steps. So first is, uh, I'll click on this particular link and it opens me on this particular uh, platform. Even Etherscan right now is in maintenance, so I don't know whether this will work or not, but I'm gonna take that high bet on myself. And then connect your wallet address to website. Click on connect to Web3 button, which is something like this. Let's do that. Click on MetaMask, okay, and I'll select ERC721 over here. It would say no approved contracts found for the address, but make sure you have this filter on, which is what the next step is, toggle on, by contract toggle. Uh, let's click on that. And now right over here, you'll be able to see all the approved contracts which you have found. Now on the top, it says 33 NFTs at risk, blah, 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 but this is not the concern right now. The concern over here is, uh, have you, uh, or not have you, do you have any approved transaction over here which you have not done? Now for me, the latest one is three days, 15 hours ago, which I know that I had done this, okay? I recognize all these transactions. So for me, I'm at a safer side. I have not done anything or my uh, contract address has not, or my MetaMask has not, uh, um, you know, interacted with this particular contract, which is hacker's address and things like that, and which is what is written in the fourth step. Click on revoke and sign the transaction uh, if you see any fishy transaction in the past uh, 24 to 48 hours, depending upon when you're watching this. Like today, as of now, let me refresh again. It is 8.37 a.m., 20th February, 2022, and this has been happening since past three to five hours now, and uh, which is what everybody is writing everywhere, and this is also going viral because this was posted like uh, two and a half hours ago only. So yeah, uh, that's uh, the only thing which we need. So once you figure out that, you click on revoke and follow the instructions which would be there. I have nothing, so I won't be revoking anything. On top of that, people are also recommending that go to OpenSea, click on MetaMask uh, Chrome extension and try to disconnect over here. So click on uh, this where it says connected, click on that. 
And once you do that, it would be saying not connected. So that's it for this particular one. I just hope a more and more safety for you guys in the Web3 space and make sure you take 100% responsibility of whatever you do uh, in this new world of Web3, blockchain, crypto, NFTs, and everything. Thank you so much.